it's Whimsy and we're back today with Batman Arkham Origins. Now I am super excited to start the game today. I have been going through the Arkham games for the past few weeks, months. I have played Batman Arkham Asylum, Batman Arkham City and now we are at Batman Arkham Origins and of course we'll play Batman Arkham Knight after. But for now, it's Origins. I know this game is a prequel, I think, so I'm super excited to see what they're gonna do with that, what it has in store for us, because I would love to know how Batman became Batman. I don't know if they're gonna go prequel that far back, but we never know. So I'm very excited for that. Sorry, I'm, I keep saying that I'm very excited because it's true. I, <laughs> I really am today. I have been loving my journey through the Arkham games. If it's your first time here, welcome in. I'm Whimsy. I play a variety of games on the channel. But these games, like superhero games, I don't play that much of them. And I didn't know that much about Batman before I started Batman Arkham Asylum. I had watched the trilogy of Christopher Nolan. And that's about it, like, oh, and the Batman and Robin movie with Uma Thurman as Poison Ivy. That was it, like, I didn't know much about the lore, and Arkham Asylum and City gave us so much lore, which I crave. I am the type of player that is very slow, methodical, um, very thorough playthroughs. I love to theorize on the plot, I love to talk about characters' motivations, uh, what's gonna happen? Why did that person do that? You know that kind of thing and looking at details and all that So if you're interested in that obviously you can subscribe and like the video if you enjoy and if you don't that's fine too You don't have to um, to watch if you don't like like slow uh, Playthroughs then maybe this is not for you. I would totally understand without further ado. I think we'll jump into it. Let's go So, before we start, uh, I'm playing on Steam, on PC, with a PlayStation 5 controller. I don't know how this is gonna go. I don't have an Xbox controller to like play with like as a gamepad. So we're gonna make do with this. I'm sure it'll be fine though, I don't see why you wouldn't. But I just need some time to translate the language of Xbox to my like PlayStation button, so sometimes I might uh, be a little confused, <laughs> we'll see. Um, or maybe some games will automatically switch when you plug a PS5 uh, controller, but I doubt that this is going to be the case because this game is not that old, but a little. One thing I've noticed from this menu is it's very Christmassy. Is it just me? It's like, hear that? It's like little jingle bells. Dun -dun -dun. Doesn't it sound like a Christmas song? Anyways, and also the uh, the snow falling. Like, is this a Christmas game? And I didn't know. <laughs> it's not even Halloween yet here as I'm filming this. So I'm not really in the Christmas mood yet. But we'll be playing this all throughout November, I think. So it's fine. If it's a Christmas game, I'm fine with it. Story. I am the knight. Complete new game plus to unlock this mode. Challenge mode. Okay, cool. We're just gonna do new game. Difficulty. A balanced difficulty option suitable for most players. Enemies are tough, aggressive, and merciless. But you are the Batman ready to bring justice to the streets. Warning. Enemies are faster, tougher, more dangerous right from the start. Challenges will push Batman to the limit. This should only be attempted by players who are expert at Batman Arkham Origins or the very brave. I've been playing on normal the past two games, so we're gonna continue with this. Brightness is fine. Subtitles, yes. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. It's the bat! <laughs> Is that Bruce in the Batcave? Oh, I think it is. Look at my boy! Police and emergency 
Rescue Services are urging Gotham residents to stay off the roads and in their homes tonight in light of the severe winter storm that banished the island Bruce. You've been back for almost two years now. You can't expect me to believe that Gotham is the most eligible bachelor spending another Christmas alone. It is a Christmas Grand game! Time. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no. It's fine. Julian Gregory Day. Commissioner Loeb, any comment on the rumor that it wasn't actually the cops who captured Mr. Day? There is no such Day. thing as a Batman. Captain Gordon! Captain Gordon! Commissioner Loeb! That was Gordon! He looks so much younger. Repeat, code 10 suspect is black mask. Commissioner Loeb is being held captive. Repeat, Commissioner Loeb is 701. Ooh, the reflection. Oh, we are so on. Ooh! <laughs> It is Christmas Eve, sir. Uh. He doesn't even say anything. At least say Merry Christmas, Alfred, or something. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. I put the uh, <laughs> the graphics really high, so <laughs> that might be why it just crashed. Okay guys, we're back. I put back all the settings to normal because I had put them so high. So maybe that's why it crashed. I hope that now it's gonna work. So far, so good. Looks like Black Mask entered the prison here. I need to find Commissioner Loeb before it's too late. Oh, this looks different, eh? This looks good, though. Also, I saw it was Warner Brothers Montreal that did this game. So, not Rocksteady. Um, different, different game, you know, different uh, company, I mean. So, maybe the gameplay will be different as well. I don't mind. Uh, but Montreal is in the province where waste. I live. I need to follow the trail of destruction to find Loeb and Black Yeah, Mask. Commissioner Loeb is being uh, held hostage. Um, okay, so far so good is the same. Ooh, bad claw. Oh wow, that's the same. Ooh, ooh. Smoke ballots. Okay, okay. All right. Similar to, uh, very similar to, um, to Arkham City. I can't let Black Mask get to Loeb. I need to follow this trail of debris. Yeah, no, I know. I know, my boy. It's okay. I'm just trying things out. Everything is basically the same. Wow. Okay. They really went like, we're gonna, we're gonna take another developer, but we will do the same gameplay. That's that's fine. That's fine with me. I don't mind. Leave my family alone if I, I hope it gets more. Thing is, you ain't gonna live to find out. Sorry, boy. Black Mask can't leave no loose ends lying around. What are you waiting for? If you're gonna do it, get it over with. Hey, it's not every day you get to kill a warden. I'm gonna enjoy myself. This looks so good, though. It's so smooth. No, <gasps> please, not again! Oh, oh I'll kill you, all right. But by the time I do, that eye won't be the only thing you're missing. What is that? <laughs> Behind you! <laughs> oh, come on! Me they the don't know Batman yet. <laughs> what the hell are you? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. No, stay away. 
The way he. Go Dude. Don't hurt me! Oh. Oh. I heard the rumors, but. You. You're, you're not supposed to be real! Who tore this place apart? I don't know what it is. It's huge. Bane. Where is Black Mask? I. I don't know. He's here for Commissioner Lowe. Maybe one of his men knows where he's headed. I love the fact that they don't know us yet. This is an emergency situation, and I am assuming command. Security personnel and GCPD officers, turn your radios to channel 13 for further instructions. I... sorry, I just really like that. D there is no it's the bat or it's batman and he even was scared because he didn't know if we were gonna attack him or if we were there to save him we need to build our reputation basically that is so fun i love the idea of a prequel like that real name martin joseph occupation black gay prison warden based in gotham city eye color dark brown la 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 Rumored to be more concerned with the politics of his office than his responsibilities. A family man. No known associations with criminal elements. Career prison administrator. Though Joseph has a degree in criminology and spent a short time in politics administration, he has never worked a beat or done time as a prison guard. He was hired because of his administrative abilities and tasked with finding ways to increase prison profitability. While he was, he has experienced some degree of success, it has come at a cost. The number of inmates has ballooned while maintenance expenditures have been cut, causing the facility to fall into disrepair and disre disrepute. There are more and more guards on the payroll of Black Mask and the Penguin, and the prison has become a haven for criminals and criminal activity. It should be noted that Joseph himself does not appear to have any criminal ties. He is simply trying to do a job he was hired to do. Gotcha. He is not... Ooh, very nice. We'll look at that later. Case file report. 0% profile. Okay. What was I supposed to do? He threatened my family. He was going to... I don't have time to discuss this, but you and I both know that doesn't make what you did right. All I did was clear my men out of one wing. I assume Black Mask owns most of them anyway. You're the warden of this prison. You're supposed to stand up to criminals, not let them push you around. Look, I just want to go home to my family. What was I supposed to do? Okay, he we've circled back. Oh, I really like the premise of this game. I do enjoy. We could go and see. I press team. So, Black Mask is trying to break out some of his friends from the prison, or is breaking out of the prison, I guess. Uh, Black Mask is Sionis, right? <laughs> I'm trying to remember from the. Uh um, Arkham Asylum and Arkham City's bios, but it, it is, I need to rack my brain a little bit right now. Oh, okay, they know about me, because maybe I put them here. Well, that looked like my alibi, oh, like getting my head is alibi. <laughs> Okay, they know me. What's written? Never... Never back... I guess, never... Ah! A dead man. Never something a dead man. GCPD. Sorry, I'm trying to... Uh, Crap. What's he doing here? Yeah, they know me. Look, it's Christmas! I knew it was gonna be a Christmas game just by the intro. Gotham City's bar and nightclub alibi. 
He, uh, he can't get to us in here, right? <laughs> I heard they're gonna kill Lope. About time he got what's coming to him. Where the hell you can? Ain't like you getting out of here anytime soon. I got friends on the outside. What's it do you? Well, who says whomever they replace him with will be any better? Can't be worse. Hmm. Yep. Okay, we brought the, these people in. So we have started our work quite a bit. It's just we're not 100% there yet. Like, not everyone knows us yet. Keep moving. These are Black Mask's men. I'll make them tell me where I can find Black Mask. Combo? I'm not sure. Interrogate... Uh... This? Where's Black Mask? How the hell should I know? I'm going to make you talk. How much pain you endure before that is in your hands. I don't have time for this. Ooh. Okay, okay! He said it to the execution chamber. <laughs> With Lobe. Smart move. Now you get to take a nap. Hey, look at that. It's crazy. All inmates, you are not in any Threat danger. very low. You are not in any Master danger. Vigilante. Grade B. Okay. I'm gonna have that in my... This cell is haunted. Okay, black market weapons purchase on the rise. Collapse. Lobe denies corruption charges. Oh. Okay. Labyrinth, GCPD. And then a card, and then we suffer. We s we. <laughs> Wait. In we suffer in suffering in our land. We suffering in our land. I'm not sure. I can't uh, read properly. Interesting. Regardless. What about this one? Calendar killer execution to proceed! Yeah, he's not gonna... Nope. It ain't gonna happen. Wait. This is interesting. It's... An interesting Mac, because I always thought Gotham was just invented. It is, right? Masked Vigilante, a rumor. I kill... 10... Plopper? Jay loves FOV. Let me in. And then... What? You're a pug? <laughs> I'm not sure. They're having some trouble in here. That's for sure. So they are bla black masks men for sure. Ooh! They even have the, the mask. controlling it. Mmm. Friend or foe? Arkham Ward, security checkpoint, armory, cell block. <laughs> Other stuff written that I can't read. Oh, jeez. All right.
fuck? What are you waiting for? Just do it! The camera is a little different during combat. And I the don't know. The only way to advance is to grapple up and over this gate. Oh, nice. I should hurry. <gasps> oh, no more cameras. Also, uh, we just read the Loeb was accused of corruption, and now he is held hostage. Is he really, or is he working with Black Mask? We don't know. It's Killer Croc. Oh my God, he looks so different. He's going crazy. Talk like that's what got oh, into them. this mess in the first place. He looks so young, which makes sense, you know. Oh, you are armored. Where are you gonna run? He's wearing body armor. Knocking him off balance with my cape will expose him to my attacks. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. I wonder what's that combo? That's... I think triangle and circle? I think it's triangle and circle. Yeah, it's probably uh, an instant takedown. Legendary! Because we did perfect. Damn. Killer Croc, dude! That makes me so excited. Showers and Death Row. So we're gonna see Calendar Men. Vicky Vale! <gasps> ah! Yeah. Inmate rules. Obey all verbal and written instructions. Violence of any kind will not be tolerated. In uniforms must be worn when outside your cell. You are subject to being searched. Do not tamper with or cover security devices. Gang membership activity and displays are prohibited and smoking permitted only in designated areas. Penalties for disobedience may include loss of privileges, solitary confinement, extension of sentence. Yeah, no, I, I get it. I get it. I get what I'm supposed to do. But let me just go around first. Inmates. Can we maybe go here? No. I thought maybe that looked interesting. I guess not. And what about here? Not either. Alright. Oh, can we... Woo! Nice. We gotta stay. Is that what? Are we safe in here? I was not that. Uh, or maybe because they were all on the floor, so I couldn't do my instant dig down. <laughs> wow. Mm, yes. Ooh. Can we, uh, perhaps, I don't know, help? Please, we don't want any trouble. Wow, she doesn't know me yet. This is so cool. I love, I love this. Oh, can I go there? No. The doors are fucking huge. Snowstorm will dump 400 inches of snow. What? Monster sized crocodile in Gotham sewers. Citywide evacuation expected. Ooh. Alrighty then. That area of the floor is weak. Yep. Here we go. So cool. <laughs> Death row. Okay. Here we go. They say crime doesn't pay. 
Someone ought to check the good police commissioner's pockets, because they are lined with my money. And what have I got to show? Huh? My own men in the slammer? They are lined with my money. Move. No, tonight, we're making some changes. Some big changes. So he You're was. You're a dead man walking, low. That's right, he's gonna kill Lope tonight. So he was, um... Corrupted. Is what I understand from this. He was... Black Mass was paying Lope for a while. And... Now he didn't have the results he wanted, so... Clear up! sign up for getting my ass kicked! I didn't sign up to get my ass kicked. What you gonna take, huh? Ah, oh, there we go. Up, Ooh. Ooh. That was so cool. Apex Vigilante Grade S God damn <laughs> We're all normal It's normal <laughs> Moving schedule Okay, they move, they move inmates Ooh Yeah, no, I get it This is the calendar man uh. Oh, and it's gonna be Christmas so Canada Man is gonna wanna do something special for Christmas, eh? It's gonna want to kill. Can we talk? <laughs> that wall beside him is weak. If I can find a way in behind it, I can take him down safely. This is Calendar Man's cell. Judge Harkness. Celebrate New Year party, day with her, go fishing, turkey day with family, new calendars. So, things to get done. So I guess on Christmas he's gonna kill Judge Harkness. Which I don't know who that is yet, but that would be my guess. Yeah, December, Merry Christmas. <laughs> yeah, so earlier I was like, oh no, this is a Christmas game. I actually love Christmas games. It's just that right now I'm a little too early. I'm a little too early. I wanted to, uh, you know, I want to play some horror games for Halloween instead, but... Ah, it's just like in Arkham City. Very nice. Yes. Thank you. Easy. Lobster on Deceased. Received confirmation from Warden Joseph that you will be rewarded for information which leads to an arrest. Yo, this is insane. It's upside down. A police operation is in progress, and anyone outside of their cells may the be fuck? Why? a danger to the force. Okay, we can go there for sure, but what about here? No? All right. Oh, okay. Sorry. I thought maybe I could go through. No. Medical checkup before execution. Branchy Rick. Sienski and Calendarman. That ain't gonna happen. He's gonna escape before that. And go kill jo Judge Ark. Judge Arkness. Fine. Sorry. Calendar man. 
<laughs> and that's just too perfect Raid? To that's what you I said. You me for this, Julian. That Julian. could be useful. Uh, sir, what do we do about Lowe? Bring him in, bring him in. It is too tempting, obviously. It is Christmas Eve. Whew. What's all this about, Sionis? Sionis, yeah. I always yeah. come through for you. You may have. Yeah, he was corrupted. But, uh, things have changed. We're starting with a clean slate, and you're not on it. Yeah. What are you talking about? I'm not on it. After all, I've done for you. You can't do this. I'm a police commissioner, damn it! And that's how Gordon becomes Shows commissioner. Holy shit. Oh, here we go. Real name, Julian Gregory Day. Occupation, fugitive. Obsessive, compulsive, psychotic. Convicted of multiple murders and sentenced to die on Christmas Eve. Sentencing judge was... Freeman Harkness. Here we go. That is why he wants to kill that judge. I see. That makes sense. Gotham's Calendar Killer, aka Calendar Man, was brought to justice thanks to Batman's diligence in apprehending the killer. Many were surprised by Judge Harkness' decision to give Day the death penalty despite the state labeling him criminal, criminally insane. Julian Day was set free just minutes before his scheduled execution on Christmas Eve during the break-in at Blackgate Prison that saw police commissioner Loeb murdered. While it is unlikely Calendarman was involved with the assassins or the bounty, he remains a threat to the city, particularly given his obsession with dates and holidays. Interesting that Black Mask would decide to get rid of a commissioner of the police that is on his side. Like... I'm too late. Commissioner Loeb is dead. Black Mask has a lot to answer for. That's... that's it's a strange bad. decision. We got it. Here we go. It's clear the area. I've just been informed that the gas chamber has been activated without following proper protocol. That harmful gas may be present. Repeat, the gas chamber has been engaged. Stay clear of the execution room and surrounding areas. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Um... Okay, I can just go. Oh, I thought it was close. Wait, could I do anything? No, oh, shit. Okay. I like the detective vision. It's it's different, but I like it. I told you to grab the memory card. You wanted it smashed, so I smashed it. It had better be, or the next thing that gets smashed will be your face. How do you control Killer Croc? You need to have the same. The memory card is damaged. I should be able to recover most of the data back at the bat cave. The same goals, because like apart from that, how do you how do you work with that? <laughs> how do you work with Killer Croc? You know. Alrighty then. You can go here. 
This tutorial is really great. It doesn't feel like a tutorial at all. So different. Much younger. I actually like that a lot. No, and I caught your scent. I know I caught yours. Boss fight? Oh my god. You're kidding. You're kidding, you're kidding, you're kidding, you're kidding, you're kidding. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, there was something I could do. Oh! Oh my god. I see. Okay. You ain't strong enough. Um. Coming after us? Are you back for the night, sir? Huh? Shall I warm up Christmas dinner? No. It's going to be a long night, Alfred. I just ran into a human-shaped crocodile. Uh. It told me Black Mask has hired assassins to kill me. We are... We can level up. We are in the Batcave. Oh my god. 
this is so cool. Alfred! Every time you level up, you earn an upgrade point. These points can be spent to unlock upgrades and improve Batman's skills and equipment. The upgrades are divided into three categories. Select an upgrade category. Core control, close combat, invisible predator, and auxiliary upgrades. Okay, what about close combat? Each upgrade category has its own upgrade tree. You must purchase early upgrades to gain access to later ones in the tree. The deeper you get in the tree, the more powerful the upgrades become. Selection upgrades to purchase. Combat armor, ballistic armor. Armor, armor. Oh, you need... Oh, that's too bad. You absolutely need to grab the armor before getting to those things. That's sad. I don't care about armor. Oh my god. Whoa. What about core? Movement. Okay, these we have, basically. Vent take down, na -na. double take down. Yeah, those things we already have, right? Invisible, increase battering stun time, glide boost attack, explosive gel frequency detonator, increase smoke volume. Oh, that is cool. Triple battering, quick silent take down. That's cool too. And then these we need to complete Dark Knight challenges to discover this upgrade. Okay. Well, I guess we'll take close combat. We don't have a choice. That's too bad. That is too bad, honestly. Maybe silent. Increase battering stun time. I mean, that can be good. Hmm. I'm a little bit let down by that, but it's okay. Oh, we can practice. I can't right now, but... I love the sound. Then it makes... Alfred! I'm so happy to see you, dude! <laughs> My best boy, sir. Okay, let's see. One, I am an innocent businessman. Maroni. Possible link with organized crime. Falcone, Maroni, De Luca, who will be next? Gang hideout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we do know about Maroni, right? Isn't he the same in um, in the trilogy of Christopher Nolan? Mm. And also Falcone as well? No? That tells me something. Three more indictments to investigate. Maroni is not known to me. Hero Cup saves six. Close case. Maroni. Former officers arrested, grand jury case. Police deny involvement from city's Batman. And it's it's not even like one word, it's two words still. Background check on jury. And then two, we have masked hood. Takes major something. Okay, red masked man in daring theft. Mayor Hill, GCPD priority is Red Hood. Strikes again, 300k taken. Kale, we will unmask Red Hood. Red Hood costs Gotham 1 million so far. Red Hood run out of the city. Mm -hmm. Who is the man behind the Red Hood? Okay, so apparently more than one criminal Red Hood. So 
uh, Loeb was like, oh no, it's fine. Uh, I'm commissioner of the GCPD and uh, I know Red Hood ran out of the city, but actually he was giving him money in the back. So maybe Red Hood is Black Mask. Um, it's the same person, it's just a different mask. Because Bla Black Mask is like obsessed with masks, right? He likes to dress up, basically. Now, we, it says more than one criminal, so maybe it's another that is affiliated with Black Mask and was giving that money to Loeb. To Black Mask and to Loeb, I'm not sure. Calendar Killer claims 12th victim. No clue on Calendar Killer. I, I, I don't know. Saved by some sort of creature. Killer pattern to investigate. Anonymous insistence in serial killer case. Is it us? Winged vigilante sighted monstrous. It's 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 us. It's a uh, it's Batman. We got him. Canada killer brought to justice in custody. So it was because of us that he uh, he was taken. Red Hood case gone cold. Identity still a mystery. Dangerous cities got them now second most dangerous. Whew. What's the first? <laughs> Police brutality, low the nice corruption charges. Daggett Industries under investigation. What is that? Construction permit payoff scandal. Okay. Arms dealer, illegal guns. Oof. Quite bad, eh? Use. Assassin, sir. As in more than one. That's yeah. right. And you heard this from the mouth of a crocodile. <laughs> His name is Killer Croc. He's already behind bars. Oh, I pity his cellmate. Mm -hmm. I don't. Let's see what else is on the drone's hard drive. Each of them gets one of these envelopes. I need them to Firefly, Copperhead, Death They're all hired killers. Oh, the best in the business. Look. Black Mask isn't messing around. Slade Wilson. Death stroke. Death stroke. Former military. Subject of a failed medical experiment. Failed, you say? Garfield Lens, a.k.a. Firefly. Firefly. Burns on 90% of his body. His obsession is going to be his end. How unlike anyone I know. <laughs> Here's a face I don't recognize. Copperhead. Strange. These reports reference a male, not a female. Fourteen escapes, huh? Well, you won't be getting out of What the... Oh. Mm, my god, she Floyd looks amazing. Lott, A.K.A. Deadshot. Deadshot 2. Sharpshooter. How on earth? Suspected of many assassinations. Dangerous, but reckless. Street tough named Lester Bachinsky. Calls himself Electrocutioner. Shocking. <laughs> Fred. Shiva. Shiva. Her skill is unmatched. She kills. One night to kill the bat. 50,000? Bane! Gotham. That's Bane! Ooh, the sound design was good. Wait, oh, he's so cool! Why would he be taking money as a hired killer? Is that Warden Joseph? Must be how Black Mask got inside the prison. He uses torture for intimidation and entertainment. Eight oh, assassins the eye. after your head. What are you going to do? Whoa. I'm going to find out who is operating this drone. Make them tell me what they know. Then I'm going to find Black Mask and put an end to this. Sir, I that may be stating so cool. the obvious here, but you do realize that since you and I are the only people who know the Batman's true identity, those assassins will all fail their mandate if you'd just spend the evening here. <laughs> They'll put innocents in danger to attract my attention. I can't take that risk. And you think it's a better idea to just put yourself in their crosshairs? There's only one person in Gotham who can get his hands on something like this. The Penguin. He's been tracking Black Mask. 
Its next waypoint Jezebel was a rendezvous Plaza. with Angus men at Jezebel Plaza. I'll make them talk. You're sure this Yo. is wise, sir? I know what I'm doing. Well, in case you change your mind and want to train tonight instead, I'll keep your training facility active. The Batwing is prepped and ready to take you to Jezebel Plaza, sir. I'm... I'm shook at how good this is. Uh, let me see, is it in profiles? Oh, yes. Bruce Wayne. GCPD knows little about Batman. He is wanted for questioning. Criminal elements are beginning to realize Batman is a threat to them. Still widespread skepticism regarding his existence. Conflicting reports. Is he one man or many? From GCPD files. Suspect is believed to be responsible for multiple assaults against both criminals and law enforcement officials. Identity of suspects currently unknown. Maybe a single individual or multiple individuals working together. Conflicting reports of suspect physiology range from dark specter to large winged creature. Lack of ph photographic and forensic evidence makes it difficult to confirm or refute these claims. First sighting reported nearly two years ago, though frequency has recently increased. Multiple reports of suspecting suspect employing custom-built armored vehicle and unlicensed low-flying aircraft. Warning: Considered armed and extremely dangerous. Approach with extreme caution. Multiple outstanding warrants. Additional: Immediately notify desk officer in vigilante task force if suspect is cited or evidence obtained. Bruce Wayne, billionaire heir to the Wayne Empire, philanthropist and playboy. For all of his public prestige, he's a private man who rarely discusses personal topics. From GCPD Files, Thomas and Martha Wayne were gunned down in an alley outside the Monarch Theater when Bruce Wayne was just a boy. He was raised by the Wayne family butler, Alfred Pennyworth, but disappeared in his late teens for several years. Upon his return to Gotham two years ago... The sole surviving Wayne made an impression on the city with his philanthropy as well as his aggressive reluctance to discuss exactly where he was or what he was doing during his time away. All reports indicate Wayne Industries and Wayne himself are inscrutable. <laughs> I know what that means, but uh, that's so hard to pronounce. But someone with this much power and influence should be watched closely. Uh... Longtime butler of the Wayne family, legal guardian of Bruce Wayne in his youth, and trusted friend and loyal companion. Alfred claims to have been an accomplished actor before he signed on to the Wayne family butler, but records hint at a history with military intelligence. That makes sense. Being an actor could have been a cover, or acting could just be a very useful skill for an intelligence officer to have. For Alfred's part, he's not offering up details, but his extensive medical knowledge suggests that he is more than a common thespian. Alfred is still having trouble accepting the reality of Bruce Wayne's double life and continues to push Bruce to give up his crusade for more mundane pursuit. No one is like, oh, Bruce Wayne has been back in like two years ago and since two years ago we've had sightings of the batman like no one questions that right <laughs> young reporter seeking to make a name for herself fixated on bruce wayne and telling his story really veil stories often attack corrupt officials head-on that is when she can get the stories by her editor while a noble sentiment the people she targets don't take kindly to being trusted into the public eye. She could find herself in trouble if she doesn't find a more subtle way to do her job. Still, it's admirable to see a journalist unafraid to expose the truth in a city defined by corruption and lies. Gotham needs more people like her. Why do I feel like Bruce is gonna... hit that? <laughs> I don't know. Supreme strength for Bane and agility combined with the mind of a master tactician. Really? That is interesting because I feel like in 
Arkham City, they really dumb, make, made him dumb, like dumbed him down a little bit. Like master tactician, that's interesting. Like what happened between, is it is it like the um, uh, Venom that is making him, making him, uh, is Venom, right? The name? Yeah, like Titan. I guess Venom, Titan was not made yet. Like is it that making him dumber with the years like what because <laughs> i feel like he's not master tactician in the well in asylum we don't really know but in city no seems dependent on the substance delivery system possible weakness yeah that might be why ben is a fugitive wanted by the government of santa prisca following a prison break from peña duro while no records have been found to substantiate this Rumors allege Bain was born and raised within the prison walls, a seemingly impossible feat in the all-male penitentiary. Bain is believed to be traveling with a large group of his fellow escapees. Most notable is his chief subordinate, Bird. Bain is rumored, rumored to have superhuman size and strength. Most believe this to be a result of his abuse of performance-enhancing drugs, including the popular narcotic Venom. Combined with a keen mind, this makes Bane an extreme threat. Now you, girly, you look amazing. Copperhead, contract killer. Based in South America. Tattooing suggests Central American gang membership. Master escape artist. Abnormal physiology allows for unnatural contortion, contortions. Maybe one of a larger group operating under the same name. Ah, that's why they thought Copperhead was male. But this one is female, so maybe there's multiple Copperheads. Like, it's it's just, it's a, it's a gang, basically. And they all look a little similar, maybe. Records indicate Copperhead is an alias used by Hitman, see, working for Central and South American drug cartels. But this Copperhead is clearly female. This could indicate that the name Copperhead is actually a title, a label for an, an underworld organization. That's what I was thinking. Either way, Copperhead seems capable of escaping nearly all forms of confinement. Kill techniques range from strangulation and crush bones to acute toxicity resulting in death. Dead shot. Um, Deadshot we also saw in uh, in Arkham, uh, Arkham City. Master marksman, former military, military. <laughs> specific background redacted. Interesting. Reckless attitude suggests mental mental instability. Among the best sharpshooters in the world. Yeah. Lawton was a lethal military sniper with a long list of assassinations, but according to his records, he often takes unnecessary risks and makes his plans unnecessarily complex. Perhaps this is why he was discharged from service and took up mercenary work. Though his military record is mostly redacted, his psychological profile suggests he harbors deep feelings of guilt regarding his accidental murder of his own brother. So, if we ever get to beat him, I'm guessing those will all be like boss fights later in the game, which I'm really excited about. So this one will need to think just straight up basic. Like, it would probably be too complicated on his end. That stroke. Medically enhanced physical and mental abilities. Master of multiple combat techniques. Strategic mind and missing his right eye. Wilson was an Slade Wilson Slade Wilson Isn't that Deadpool? But Deadpool is Marvel Slade No Wade Wade Wilson Right? He yo that's kinda weird. Also he had like um like a, a staff or something and and i thought ooh, that looks a little like deadpool for a second there although he his is not a staff but um wade wilson isn't it and like medically enhanced that's okay that's very similar but they are from two different universes dc and and marvel um 
distinction earned him admittance into a covered program where he was subjected to extensive mental and physical augmentation procedures, left him with increased mental function as well as enhanced speed, strength, and stamina. Though much of the file is redacted, it appears that Slade was eventually discharged from the military, though the exact circumstances are not specified. He has since taken up work as a mercenary. His augmentations coupled with his mastery of hand-to-hand -hand combat make him a formidable opponent, possibly one of the most dangerous Batman has ever or will ever face. Ooh. Lester Buczynski. Straight tough out to make a name for himself. Has surprising skill in electrical engineering and big mouth. Ooh, that's gonna be fun. More browns than brains in the initial assessment of Buczynski, but he has been able to create some kind of custom-made weaponized gloves that pack a powerful electrical discharge. Their craftsmanship suggests there is more going on between his ears than the sound of his own boasting, though he may have had help constructing them. Perhaps even had them made by someone else. Like Mr. Freeze, maybe? I thought the technology looked a little similar, but I might be wrong. His arrogance and overconfidence are his weakness. Firefly. Garfield Linz. <clears throat> We've seen about this one, I think, in Asylum, or was it City? I think it was in Asylum. Obsessive compulsive pyromaniac. Multiple instances of severe burns all over his body. He utilizes, uh, utilizes custom-made flame torch that pack in incendiary grenades. Linz has specialized knowledge of incendiary devices, yet often gets burned by the fires he's creating. What little is in his medical re records suggests that he does not seek treatment for the pain. It seems to invoke a pleasure response in him. This is a dangerous combination. His obsession with fire is driving him to take either ever larger risks and if he is not stopped he's going to destroy himself and potentially much of the city with him Waylon Jones look at his design captured nice instinctual hunter with heightened senses dynamic physiology appearance continually changes ah that's why that's why his design looks so different Medical records class Jones as suffering from a rare form of an epidermolytic hyperkeratosis. It normally causes skin to scale, but there is more to Jones than that. It's true that his skin has grown dense enough to repel gunfire, but that doesn't explain the rest of the changes. His size, sense of smell, unexplained dental eruptions, and warped digits. The degree to which he has been affected is remarkable and suggests that this may actually be a form of atavism that simply resembles hyperkeratosis. It may also be the result of intentional genetic manipulation. Further study is required. Regardless of their or origin, his strength and ferocity make him an immense physical threat. It's true that he looks a little more like a man here. He still looks a little like, oh my god, but he gets worse and worse uh, with the years. That's so cool. And Shiva! Martial arts grandmaster on match skill in hand to hand combat. That's gonna be a hard fight. Police records are thin, but indications are that Shiva is a highly trained and extremely dangerous assassin. Rumor is that she selects many of her targets simply to test her skills. There are no known survivors from these encounters. The threat she represents cannot be underestimated. Oh boy. Black Mask. Roman Sionis. Yep. Which I find interesting because um, in um, uh, in Arkham Asylum, we had bios on of him. I'm going to read it and then I can talk about what I'm thinking. Uh, runs the largest organized crime operation in Gotham City. Members of his organization wear black masks to conceal their identities. Most members are also employees of Sionis' legitimate businesses and makes extensive use of torture techniques to satisfy his sadistic appetites. Okay. Roman Sionis is one of Gotham's most powerful crime lords, though thus far he has managed to avoid conviction. He maintains several legitimate businesses, though many are believed to be front for illegal operations. 
Notable businesses in his portfolio include Janus Cosmetics, Gotham Merchants Banks, and the now defunct Sionis Steel Works. That's what I wanted to talk about. Sionis has Sionis Sionis, I'm not sure how they pronounce it, has been charged with embezzling city funds, murder, racketeering, distribution of illegal narcotics, and other offenses that but never convicted. Witnesses for the prosecution have been known to recant, die, or disappear. He owns half the police officers in Gotham, along with several judges and city concealers. Those he can't buy, he intimidates with torture or eliminates. That's it. Um, he is so strong. Wow. So what I was about to say is the Sionis steel works, like the Sionis... Um, Steel Mill is the main base of the Joker in Arkham City. So I wonder if Joker is going to pop up in this game and work with Black Mask or something like that. I'm really, really curious about that. I'm so excited. But if not, it's fine. But I just wonder because why would Joker take um, the Steel Mill as like his base of operations if he didn't have any... Um, and also one of the, um, one of the, um, if he didn't have any ties, I didn't finish my thought. One of the panels to like open one of the doors, I don't remember which one, in the steel mill in Arkham City, the password is Roman Sionis. So I found that super cool because it is, it is the place of this dude. It is one of his businesses, but that was in Arkham City, so he redid that business in Arkham City, and then Joker, and then he, f he like left, I think, because there is one of the um, one of the, I'm, I, I will, I'll find the word. What is it? Riddles. One of the riddles is, um, do you see the hole that was left by Black Mask or whatever? I don't remember, but it's like uh, one of the riddles is about Black Mask and he like escaped or something like that. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if he has ties with the Joker, basically. That is my... Uh, and I was already thinking that before this game, you know, like when I was playing to Arkham City. I was like, oh, it's interesting that Joker has made his base of operations in the steel mill of like Sionis masks or whatever the business is but in this game I'm like so are we gonna see the Joker then like so early on like the beginning of the Joker I don't know that would be so cool Commissioner Loeb sleek deeply corrupt police commissioner he looks terrible politically untouchable alleged to have connections to Gotham's major crime families as much politician as policeman, Gillian Loeb is a blight on Gotham. He runs the city like a criminal kingpin and the police under his command are used as his personal enforcers. He is particularly close with Lieutenant Brandon and his shoot first SWAT teams. Under Loeb's watch, the city has experienced relative peace between the various crime families. This piece that has allowed them to exploit and extort the citizens who live and work on their turf. As long as Loeb remains in power, so too will the kingpin. So why, why or why did Black Mask decide to get rid of him? I, I don't know. Interesting. A question, sir, if I may. How did Waylon Jones come to be the way he is? Atavism from the look of it. An unfortunate genetic mutation. Do you think the condition causes physical pain? Might that explain his rage? Mm. It goes deeper than that. Imagine growing up looking like he did. Children are cruel, Alfred. Uh, so That's are true. adults, sir. Um, all part of the human condition, I suppose. We have a tendency to fear, often outright despise, that which is different. Ah, but you already knew that. If you're serious about getting to Jezebel Plaza in time to find Penguin's men, you'll want to leave soon. Look, sir, why not simply let these assassins fight it out among themselves? It would certainly shorten your to-do list. Mm. Alfred, they'd take out half of Gotham City in the process. I fear you've assumed too much responsibility. Only because no one else will. 
Our cape and so you've armor. So you if you're planning on getting to Jezebel Plaza before Penguin's men finish their is, uh, <laughs> business. Is not super well developed yet. It's not super strong, so that's why it has chips on it everywhere. I'm guessing. Your detective work tonight is most impressive, Master Bruce. A shame it couldn't be of the armchair variety. Since when did masks become de rigueur for aspiring crime lords? Hmm. Well, this is turning out to be quite the Christmas Eve, isn't it? <laughs> I assume we won't be unwrapping presents <laughs> in the morning. Some of the assassins have access to rather interesting technology. When this is over, you might want to consider appropriating it. Let some good come of tonight's events. That Vicky Vale is quite the troublemaker. Perhaps someone should do a report on her. That Vicky Vale is quite the troublemaker. Perhaps someone should do a report on her. Interface to massively parallelized supercomputer. G. Okay, wait. Remotely expandable via Wayne Tech of site cloud computation for burst of enhanced computational capacity. <laughs> Those specs are crazy. What? Oh, uh. Gadgets. This is a line launcher. Right? It hella looks like a line launcher. So I guess we're not gonna have it this game. Jeez. That's not my area of expertise. Me, like the player. Not at all. Do we have a map or... We do. Oh. So we can go train. What's here though? Elevator. Okay. I'm not ready. Uh... Batmobile training. Let's see. You can fight as death, death stroke, death, death stroke. Uh, ranked campaign custom combat. Uh, unlock twelve unique combat scenario designed to hone Batman skills. Let's just see. Free flow combat, combo takedown, high multiplier. The more moves you can combine into a single combo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. While in free flow mode, your strikes have increased range and power, allowing you to flow between enemies. Yeah. Yeah. Increase by 8. High multiplier perform 15 strikes encounter in a row without mm. being hit. I just I just want to see what it does if I do these. I'll I'll do them off camera. Uh. You'll never get through one. That was beautiful. Okay, concept art. Ooh. It gives us concept art. I mean, the others are, you know, are not unlocked, so might as well do these. Counter, double counter, and blade dodge pull away. Yeah, it's the same as in Arkham City, so it's pretty easy for me. I'll just do the same thing. <laughs> Fight fair, damn you! Shit. Ah. 
I need to do a double. This gives me an egg. Right? Shit. Be kidding. I wanna die. Fuck. I was supposed to do a double um <laughs> double counter. Yeah. Okay, let me uh, let me retry. Come on now, it's not that hard. It's not that hard at all. Counter expert. Somebody do something. Show this freak who he's messing with. Break all his bones. Ah. Uh? Lost my combo. You picked the wrong. Get him surrounded. Why you gotta pick? Okay. Nice. So the camera is a bit more static during combat, but I'm getting used to it. I don't think it's that bad. It's just you can't really look around much, but the enemies are much slower than in Arkham City. I feel like. Okay, that's all we can do for now. What about as Deathstroke? No. <laughs> um, yeah, they are slower in a way. It feels... Feels slower, for sure. <laughs> like, movement is a bit more sluggish for everyone involved. Even for me, like my... My evade here, I don't know. It does feel different. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going. I'm going. I think I need to go to the elevator, right? Or not. I guess not. <laughs> it's broken! Yeah, I, I got it. I got it. I'm just going around, okay? Oh, here we go. If I get too many um, knife wounds <laughs> or beaten up. Urban assault vehicle. All right, fast travel. So, to make your travels easier, I went ahead and set up some auto nav points at different areas of the city. One of my preset destinations should take you right to Jezebel Plaza. Mm hmm. That is so fast. Twister Towers to unlock Batwing drop points and reveal Enigma's network relays. I need to do that. The Bowery. Park Row Industrial. Wait, this is a. Uh, this is Arkham. Future Arkham City. Park Row Amusement Mile. Industrial. Whoa. And then we have Gotham. Where am I mistaken? Oh. That's the Batcave, okay. So I see those drop off points. That is nice. Blackgate Prison. Okay, cool. So let me maybe do this one so we can go here. Fast travel is nice. In my opinion. I know some people don't like it, but I, I do. I'm gonna have to stop soon, shit. Alfred, I've got I'm tracking it too. 
control towers you use for your auto nav systems are putting out a jamming signal. Store oh no. damage. You'll have to go down there and find that out for yourself, sir. I won't be able to use fast travel again. <laughs> Oh, they have... will confuse my opponent. I need to get up and out of danger. He can't shoot what he can't see. Yeah. Attacking head-on is a good way to get myself shot. And probably the hostage, too. But they won't expect an attack from above. Nobody ever does. That thing out there with you? Are you crazy? We were answering the service call. That's it? Inverted thing down. I think I, uh, stopped... Uh, I might have stopped without wanting to the dialogue earlier. Press and hold to glide from a vantage point. I can sneak up on the hostage taker by crawling through the vent. Just looking around, you know. Can I? Nice. What the hell was that? You think it's the guy that hired us? You piss him off or something? No way. Besides, I don't get the sense that he's the. Uh... I don't get, get this. Get yourself to safety and call the police. They'll want to see what's going Physical on here. Type. Okay, I will. This was just supposed to be a service call. Fix the tower in and out. I need a new job. Ooh. I like your graffiti. Come out. Where are you going? Where that thing kicked at me. Huh. This one's the whoever you are. Come near me and I'll kill this guy. I ain't playing. You tell Hey Vince, you seen Charlie? I can I can fix the tower. Whatever you want, just please don't hurt me. All I want is for you to get yourself to safety. <gasps> uh um, new Ooh, free flow focus. Okay, 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 okay. Reach Shadow Vigilante rank three in the Dark Knight system to earn this upgrade. Dark Knight system. Ah. Uh, perform five counters. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. We just need to be good. Basically. <laughs> um, close combat. We could put ballistic. I think having ballistic could be a good idea. Alrighty, one armed left. Ledge takedown. Oh yeah. Dark Knight challenge I don't complete. think this tower malfunction is from storm damage. I need to set up a crime scene and find out what happened. And I should oh. start by identifying the victim. Oh. 
Just like in Arkham City. The victim's name is David Shannon, a Gotham Optics employee sent here to repair a faulty network tower. But what killed him? Scanning the DNA impact on the wall should provide an answer. Reconstruction of the scene. Oh, wow. That's so cool. Impact analysis indicates the victim was killed by some kind of explosion originating at that access panel. I should scan it for additional clues. That is so cool. It looks like the panel was rigged to detonate 60%. when swiped with a key card. Someone really didn't want this tower repaired. And it looks like that same someone left a set of fingerprints behind. Alfred, I'm uploading some prints for analysis. Let me know what comes back. Certainly, sir. Searching now. And here we are. They belong to one John F. Baker. He's a rather unremarkable criminal. Small jobs, mostly. And, uh, hmm, that's curious. What's curious? Mr. Baker's dead, sir. His body was recovered from the Diamond District just under an hour ago. Looks like someone's tying up loose ends. I can hmm. bypass the booby-trapped access panel with my cryptographic sequencer. Oh. And I'll need the encryption codes from the victim's access card. Reviewing the crime scene will show me where it is. Rewind. has the codes I need to hack any of the network towers access panels. <sighs> you un unfortunate. Very nice. There's so many information I'm reading at the same time. Sorry, I'm not talking a lot. <laughs> Alfred, contact the GCPD. Let them know about the body. Send the data from my analysis, too. Certainly, sir. Does this mean you found the source of the disturbance? I think so. Well, if it isn't the king's thug himself. Figured it was only a matter of time before you showed up. Sorry about the mess downstairs. Who is this? Think of me as a great big mystery. One he doesn't you're know yet. Solve. Enigma, then. Oh, you must think you're so clever. Well, how's this for clever? I've taken control of towers all over the city. As long as they're active, your bat wing's useless. And it looks like it's gonna stay that way. I mean, I this one's practically begging to be taken offline, and you still can't hack it. Pun intended, of course. It's not the same uh, voice, but I mean, no fly zone. Hmm. I don't mind. Black masks not going to like this. What are you talking about? Wouldn't you like to know? With the jammer offline, I can travel here with the bat wing. Mm. Those relays are part of a distributed security system. I wonder what they're protecting. That must be where Enigma set up shop. I need to pay him a visit. 
shirting. Enigma, zero percent. I see you've regained control of the Batwing, sir. I suppose it's off to Jezebel Plaza, then. That's the plan. Then I've also got a lead on Enigma. Well, don't overthink it too much, sir. We both know you'll eventually wind up doing both. Wait, can I go now? What the hell? That's... They should have said, oh, I can't go now or something, not like lock it before. <laughs> it's fine. Jezebel Plaza before that arms deal. I'll have no way to locate the penguin. Oh. I need to pay Enigma a visit. I think that's what we're gonna stop on today. Uh. I see. Wait. Here. Wait, that is so cool, though. Wait, that is awesome. Gotcha. We have the boo! Let's go. <gasps> so open world quite similar to Arkham City. Um, gameplay quite similar to Arkham City as well. Definitely a lot of uh, inspiration was taken from this. Great every time. Search. Yay! Here we go. I am not making the same mistake as I did in Arkham City. I went for I didn't know it was it was Edward Nigma, like I I I didn't know. Um, but it was in the church and I didn't go there until like way too late in my playthrough and I was like oh there is no riddles and stuff so this time around I'm not making the same mistake I am going straight up Enigma, for Edward where are you? I'm right here well figuratively speaking anyway disappointed I didn't choose to meet up in person what's this about? Sionis hire you to throw me off his trail think of me as an information broker I've got data handlers everywhere feeding me all kinds of interesting stuff and you think this is going to destroy Gotham oh yes see bullet wounds and broken bones will eventually heal but incriminating photos videos emails that kind of damage can never be repaired tomorrow morning when I release everything I've got the city's going to collapse resignations arrests deaths it'll be chaos in the streets Batman and there's not a thing you can do to stop me uh huh.
Yeah, thank. Ooh. Oh. I figured you'd try and get all caveman on my equipment. It's password protected, I'm afraid, with 10,000 volts of electricity. You've lost Batman. Might as well head home and get some rest. With everyone's deepest, darkest secrets about to go on public display, I've got a feeling tomorrow's going to be a very busy day for you. One way or another, I'm shutting you down. <laughs> Destroying all the network relays will let me access his server. It's the only way to stop him. Those must be the handlers he was talking about. I can use them to track down the extortion data mm. he's been collecting. Oh my god. Uh, 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 uh. No key, no entry. Gotcha. Okay. That's fine. All right, then. That's nice. So we have like a side mission going on with Edward. We can still an analyze environments. So there's probably riddles. Who knows? But anyways, I'm gonna stop here. I really need to stop. Um, and it's just safe. I'm running so out of time. Perfect. I should head for Jezebel Plaza. We are going to do just that next. Um, Jezebel Plaza. Enigma data handler. Perfect. Um, yeah. That that was oh that was so fun. Wait, would it be where where is Jessel? Track down the penguin. I wonder like how do I see my main objective? Um, we'll see to that. I see like uh, the main main objective on my map here. Um, on my like uh orientation thing, so it's fine. Uh, but yeah, oh my goodness, I had so much fun as a tutorial. I think it did really, really great. I am very curious about the story, excited to see, you know, the assassins that are gonna come after us. I'm guessing they're gonna be boss fights and they all seem very different from one another, so it'll be cool. And also curious about what Blast Ma Black Mask is after, because why would he kill one of his main... Um, pawn right like I, I don't, I'm not sure so we'll see but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed I was very slow today you know looking at everything um, that is usually how I play these games so yeah I would understand if you don't like that that's totally fine if you do then you can subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed today and uh, yeah I'll see you in the next one bye